Okay, if you hear any weird banging or weird sounds going on, that's because I'm watching the kids right now. the train I tell you what Everybody, a couple things to think about as you're preparing your music for Allstate this year for Georgia and for you know other states as well the same concepts will kind of apply here but yeah this Georgia Allstate um, you know audition that I'm looking at and that we just played it's like the first thing that really hits me um, is that of these two etudes they're both exactly very 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 different right they're pretty much the opposite on the spectrum because it's like you have uh, the first one, uh, it says molto espressivo, right? So that means, uh, you know, much expression. And then we have a la marcia, which is, you know, a march kind of a thing. So we're, we're playing very different styles here, right? So that's the first thing to kind of harness and to really just capitalize on that they're very different styles. The first one will be very fluid, very much as if we're singing, as if it's very lyrical. The second one will be more regimented, right? We'll have more separated articulations, uh, and we'll play in a style more of that nature. So yeah, the first one though, molto espressivo. It's in six eight. We're in the key of C major. Um, let's see, eighth note equals one forty four. It's like they're going to forgive you a little bit if you go a little bit faster, a little bit slower. But when I look at this etude, it's like ooh, dynamics, very dynamic heavy, right? Um, the judges are really gonna, going to want to know uh, if you can play dynamics, right? And what's neat about this, this little etude is that, you know, our crescendos and decrescendos are really just happening with the musical phrase, right? It's happening within the context of the music, so it makes sense. Now at the end, well I should say halfway through at the double bar line, we have uh, crescendo poco a poco. Do you know what that means? Oh. It means crescendo little by little, right? So we'll be crescendoing until we get to that forte at measure 12, and so that's sort of like the climax of the tune right there, in my opinion. You know, you might interpret it a different way, but it's like, that's kind of the climax. Yeah, so we want to crescendo to that. We want to make that uh, G sharp kind of a big deal. We want to hold it beautifully. We don't want to blast it, but we want to hold it beautifully, maybe put a little vibrato on it. And then, yeah, we have a retardando at the end. And also, just in general, when you're playing in 6-8, really get that feel. A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, rocking the baby uh, back and forth. And then it'll sound more musical, rather than thinking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's like, think about beats 1 and 4, so that you can get that rocking motion in, right? Okay, and then the second etude here, a la Marcia, <clears throat> it's in 3-4, we're in the key of F major. So it's like learn that scale first if you don't, uh, if you don't know it, or if you just need to brush up on it and get it really well under your fingers, like just play your F major scale, get really familiar with that scale, because this entire song, you know, it's based on F major. 
So most of the notes that you're going to play will be in that F major scale. We only have a few accidentals. We have a C sharp, we have a B natural, but mostly, mostly it's going to be based around those seven notes. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, not F, <laughs> right? Because we already said F. So yeah, it's in three form. We're going to have more separated, more concise, more kind of rigid uh, and accented attacks here, right? Uh, our articulations are going to be a little bit more pointed, so we can really hear that. And we're staying in a very consistent rhythm. We won't have rubato. Uh, we won't be ebbing and flowing uh, in this tune because this is a march, right? <clears throat> also pay attention to the dynamics in this one on the second line. So that's like measure like measure 10, like where that double bar line is, 11, 12, we have some dynamics there. We have different accents, right? So when we have an accent like this, it's like that's an accent to play it louder, to hit that note, but it's still a long note, right? When we have it like this, like a rooftop kind of a thing, like a little upside down V, that's going to be more short and detached. So it's an accent, but it's detached. It's shorter, right? Okay, and then let's see, anything else to say about this? Ooh, there's that fermata on the high B flat. Oh, that's nice, that's kind of neat that, uh, that that's thrown in there. I don't think it would be inappropriate to slow down just a slight bit right before that to kind of continue the phrase and, and make it make sense, right? So if you slow down just a little bit right before that, uh, you know, you can just dun, da da dee. You can go right into that B flat. It'll sound very nice. Hold it for a little bit, <clears throat> then go right back in tempo. Dun, dee, dee, da, dun, da, da, dun, 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 Kind of a thing, and I can't sing very well, but you get the idea. And yeah, guys, so good luck. Good luck with your uh, all-state auditions this year. Uh, especially you guys in Georgia. I made this video uh, actually in part for one of my students, so there you go, Vedu. Had to make this video for you just because I know that you're working on this at the moment. And uh, yeah, good luck on it. Um, oh yeah, if there's three things that you should really, really, really get down first, right? The biggest three things. And they're kind of the biggest three things of sight reading, but then just learning music in general, it's an acronym. N-R-A, right? Notes, rhythm, articulation, guys. Yeah, notes, rhythm, and articulation. So make sure that you can play both of these etudes with the correct notes, rhythms, and articulations first, right? It's like that's your skeletal structure of music. That's what you really want to have down and then you can layer the dynamics and the musicality and the stylistic stuff and, and the stuff that really makes it music. You can layer it on after that. All right, guys, good luck. We will see you later. Over and out.